so hit me. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea. If you're new here, if you're not, thank you for coming back. I have a guest that will be here more often now that he's with me. His name is Valentino. He's in the back. He's a black standard golden doodle. It's kind of hard to see him, which is why I put a banana on him. He looks super cute. I am on my way to Starbucks with him. He is going to have a puppuccino, which we have given him once before and he loved it. So hopefully this will make him feel better. And I am going to try the new shaken drinks that Starbucks just came out with yesterday as well at, and at the same time they also came out with oat milk and I have been dying to have oat milk at Starbucks. I'm so excited. If you watched my uh, last Starbucks video where I tried the pistachio drinks, I talked about having oat milk and it's finally here and I'm going to try it and I'm so excited. So I think I'm going to get two shaken drinks and then I'll try one of my favorite drinks with the oat milk as a substitution and we'll go ahead and see how it goes. I'll see you there. Hello, Valentino. Valentino, baby. He's still scared. I think he knows what's coming. I don't know. We'll see. I did want to mention my shirt. It says Doodle Mama, and it was designed and created and constructed for me and gifted to me by my friend Elizabeth. I'm going to link her Etsy shop below in case you want one of these shirts. Mine says Doodle Mama, and my boyfriend says Doodle Dad. He is our baby, so... We, both, we each have one and we even took pictures with them <laughs> um, so we have the drinks they did not have a cup holder so we'll do it without a cup holder and we have our puppuccino so let's do that first because he looks very sad Valentino Valentino look Goodness, so good, isn't it? This is a lot for you. Get a puppy, this is too much. Oh my goodness, such deliciousness, huh? Let's clean that mouth of yours. Now, I got three drinks, so let's go ahead and try them. Kind of wish I would have gotten a puppuccino for myself. So this is the tall ice chocolate almond espresso shaken drink. It, it's come. They're blonde espressos. In case you're wondering the the flavor, this looks really pretty. All right, let's go ahead and try it. I'm gonna shake it. I'm gonna assume you don't drink it unshaken. It's called a shaken drink. I don't feel like I've ever tried anything like this. Like I just said, it does taste like an ice mocha, but I mean, I don't get this often, so it's not something I would normally get, especially because it just tastes like pure chocolate. It's bad. It's not something I would get again. Now for the moment of truth, the oat milk. So this is the tall ice brown sugar oat milk espresso. This one is not, it doesn't need to be shaken. It's already mixed pretty evenly. Let's try this. This is the oat milk flavor I love. Oh, it's so good. I'm so surprised. Yes. Oh my God, this is my new go-to. I'm very impressed. This is delicious. Oh my God, this is so good so good i love the flavor of oat milk and i love it because it to me personally it brings out the espresso flavor the strong bitter coffee flavor that i love and it enhances it versus it kind of like it kind of enlightens it in a way versus diminishing it and covering it the way i think cream does or regular milk wow this is delicious i'm very impressed 
Now, I got, this is the real moment of truth. I got my favorite drink, which is usually a tall, cold, if you watch my videos before, you know that it's a tall cold brew with two pumps of sugar-free vanilla and light cream. And today I got a tall cold brew with two pumps of sugar-free vanilla with oat milk. And it looks beautiful. It looks normal, like it normally does. It's a little bit lighter than the other two, which doesn't mean anything because it is cold brew. Let's try it. Maybe if I like it, it doesn't taste bad. It's just not what I expected. I don't really taste the cold brew. I think that's the issue. I think I taste more the oat milk. It's not bad, but I think I'd go back to my normal. I'd go back to my normal drink. My normal order. This one is the one I would definitely get again. This is delicious. This again, this is the tall ice excuse me, brown sugar oat milk espresso. This is delicious. This is what I live for. Oh my god, I would get this in a menti. I should go back and get it in a menti. It is so good. I'm so impressed. Wow. You go to. In the description of how it's how it's made, they mention that they put cinnamon and they mix it up with the espresso, but I don't taste cinnamon and I don't see cinnamon, which I'm happy about because I personally was a little bit afraid of it. So it tastes better than I expected and it's delicious and I would totally get it again. So out of the three. The way I would rank them is the tall ice brown sugar oat milk espresso first, number one. I'm gonna try them again, let me see, let me see. I need to differentiate these two and I wanna shake this one up better so I can give it a fair chance. Ooh, it got really dark. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Okay, yeah. This one's second. Tastes like chocolate. I can drink it because it tastes like chocolate. It is not, it's not usually my favorite combo. I don't love chocolate and coffee together. And I also don't love chocolate and caramel. Ca coffee and caramel together, that's just random. But it's just, those are two flavors that I, it's not my personal favorite. So I wouldn't usually get it, including this one. But actually like this one better than my go-to replaced with oat milk. So first, the brown sugar oat milk espresso. This one's second, the iced chocolate almond milk espresso. And then third, which is last, is my go-to tall cold brew with two pumps of sugar for vanilla and oat milk. And it's not doing it for me. It actually kind of tastes a little bit like perfume. But it's so good to know that Starbucks has oat milk, and I'm so excited about that. It is the best thing that could happen to me right now. I, it's just so funny because I was actually talking about it the other day. Recent, I mean, I talk about it often. I love oat milk. But I was talking about it recently again, and I was like, I want Starbucks to have oat milk. And they did. And I got an email. When I saw the email, I was like, oh, yes, they heard me. Well, I hope you like this video. If you do, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. I think this video will be post. This video, this video is probably after I post my, we have a puppy video introducing Valentino. So if it is, please go check out that video. Um, it was a very special moment and he's a very special puppy and I love him and I'm so excited to have him here and he's looking around for more whipped cream because he thinks there's some in his little little chair. If you want to see more of us, please subscribe. 
and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, so I just got out of Starbucks and ordered. So as if you saw in this video, I ordered the brown sugar, the new brown sugar shaken espresso drink with oat milk and it was delicious and I was in love with it and I knew I was gonna get it again. With that said, today's double star day, so I was like, why not get it again? But yesterday, the macro barista, who I've been following and, and taking in his suggestions for quite some time now, um, came out with the low calorie version. It was 75 calories for a grande. And I decided to go ahead and try it out. And believe it or not, it's actually cheaper than the featured drink. So I got a tall, and the tall was around $5.50, almost $6. And today I got a venti in the version of the macro barista, which was ordered differently. It's, it was only $4 for the venti. And this is what it looks like. It is literally a iced triple espresso with the blonde espresso with oat milk and two pumps of brown sugar in a venti cup with two pumps of sugar-free cinnamon dolce. Let's give it a taste. I mean, definitely tastes more of the cinnamon flavor, but oh my goodness, it's still so good. Oh God, I love it. This is this is gonna be my goal. Four dollars for this venti. I am very impressed. If you want a little bit more, you know, if you want a little more, more of a kick, you could go ahead and order a quad espresso. But I was good with a triple, and that was delicious. And you should go ahead and try it out. Thank you so much to the macro barista. I always keep up to date with his new versions and they're always amazing and this one definitely followed through so you should go get it I can hear your voice.